about it. How's it going? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. How was day one? Day one was pretty cool. Pretty cool to be uh, out here finally um, on the football field with all these guys, um, coaches, players, staff, whoever else. Um, and it, it was it was a great day. Great day to be out here in sunny side California, with practice field. So. What's this last month or so just kind of been like? It's a whirlwind, I'd imagine, for you. It's been a little weird. Um, I wasn't ever expecting to be here, um, and now I'm here. So um, I'd say we have a lot of similarities from workouts and uh, verbiage and, and language, like just, I mean, just talking to the coaches, talking to strip staff and things like that. And hearing that, as we know, a bunch of guys came, a bunch of coaches came here uh, from there, um, my, my old school. And like I said, it's just a little weird because you have new colors, um, new logos, and, and all these other things. So it's a little weird, but it's, it's, it's been really, 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 really fun. So. Most, most expected you to make this move after making you came, you, you played it out, you took your, your time. What went into that process, and at what point did you actually know you were coming here? Um, so if you followed me in high school, I was very detailed with uh, with all of my all of my recruiting process, I wasn't I wasn't just gonna make a, a impulsive movement um, and go somewhere because um, my whole I didn't want to be in the transfer portal. It was never my goal um, throughout um, my recruiting process. Um, it didn't happen that way, but um, very detailed. So that was that's what took so long. Um, just making sure everything was right, um, everything was set in place. Um, at, a, at, a, at a, I was trying to figure out you know if it was gonna be here, if it was gonna be. Uh, Wisconsin, if it was going to be UCLA, if it was where, wherever else it was going to be. Um, but obviously I'm here, I'm a Trojan, and I uh, can't, can't wait to get things going. What was the biggest question you had about USC that you had to kind of answer through the process? Um, biggest question. That was, that's a pretty good question. <laughs> that's what I did. Um, biggest question, I'd, I'd say it was mainly, mainly asking Coach Riley some questions. Um, about, you know, just kind of getting back, back together because I wasn't able, you know, NCAA rules and things like that. I'm not able to talk to coaches. Um, I'm not able to talk to anybody in no other school except for the school that I was at. And I, I didn't talk to him for, I mean, a month, two months, whenever I hit the transfer portal um, and between he, where he left and then uh, when I hit the transfer portal. So um, kind of getting the groove of things, kind of kind of seeing how it felt with him being out here um, and, and not talking to him for a while, him just him, him leaving. Um, it was kind of weird, kind of finally being able to speak to him, but that was that was really it. Kind of seeing how things went. What was that like when you reconnected? It was it was actually a really big relief to be able to speak to him because um, I mean we I mean before I actually went to Oklahoma, I built a, such a great relationship with him and and the other people and um, other people that came here, um, strength class, strength staff and um, the other staff included, not just Coach Riley. Um, that was a big piece for me um, is that it wasn't just about Coach Riley. Um, and him being here, obviously, I love Coach Riley and his family and things like that. But um, the rest of the family that came with him, um, that I that I loved, and um, that was that was that was really big. Um, so he actually had Clark Trout uh, when I Facetimed him when I hit the transfer portal, and it was it was awesome. I, it felt it was a big, a really big relief. Coach talked about how this is going to be a really unique roster by the time everything's all said and done. Yeah, I mean, how much research did you put into the roster before you made a Um, so actually. I know a lot of guys out here already because I come out here and train all the time. Um, a bunch of guys here were highly recruited athletes and things like that. So um, it, I didn't I didn't put too much into the roster, uh, but it is a pretty unique roster. Uh, we got a lot of transfers, and that's pretty unique, especially in uh, USC's history. They've always been able to get whoever they wanted uh, by recruiting and things like that. But having how many guys we have uh, from the transfer portal plus the guys here from SoCal and uh, or all the other places that. Uh, we're already here um, through recruiting and not the transfer portal. Uh, it's a pretty unique group, and it's been awesome. Uh, we connected, and um, the culture's been culture's been culture's been pretty good. So, how did you, you find out Lincoln was coming to SC, and what was the thought process when that all went down? It was it. When did I find out? Yeah. Uh, we found we all found out together um, as a team um, at, at the old school. And uh, what was your what was your last question? What was the thought process going through your mind when that news hit you? Uh, it was a little rough because, you know, like I said, I built a such good connection with him and um, I didn't think he was going to leave, but he ended up leaving and that was all good. And um, At that point, it was it was to, you know, be there with the guys that I was with, go win that next game that we had because we did have a bowl game up. And um, that was my only, my, my main focus, my main goal to make sure that the guys that wasn't going to be able to come back 
um, there or to another school um, was make sure that they get they went out with a win and a bang. So that was my it was rough, but we got through it. Now Lincoln talked about you know wanting you to step in as a leader. Yep. How tough is that? Just kind of coming in a little bit late, and yep. then you know you're stepping into a brand new locker room, like you said, new logos, new colors, everything. Yep. What's that? process like for you? I've done it before. I stepped in at uh, Oklahoma um, and even though I wasn't the starter then, I still stepped in and tried to lead um, and tried to find ways to lead um, and now I have I have um, a bigger responsibility and I'm, I'm all fine with taking that responsibility and, and leading these guys to where we want to go. I think all the hype that comes with Joe Robert, there's Heisman talk and yep. you got Good Morning America. That's, yep. that's a lot to bring with you. How do I handle it? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Focus on the guys here. Um, like you said, focus on leading these guys. Those guys will get me to there, and I'm going to help those guys get to our main goals, which is national championships. And uh, when it want, we're going to want to know every week. Um, that is my main goal. Uh, I don't really focus on my own goals. Obviously, I mean, who wouldn't want to have a Heisman? That's, I mean, who wouldn't? But um, it's not. It's not one of my. It's one of my goals, but not really the goal of the team. Um, and that's what we're focused on here. Only uh, two scholarship quarterbacks right now. How's yep. your relationship with uh, Miller Moss and you guys working together out there at practice? Awesome. I know I've known Miller before um, through camps and, and 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 things like that. Last time that I saw Miller was Elite Eleven, um, so it was only about a year ago, a year and a half ago. So it wasn't hasn't been too long. Um, so we kept in touch. We all the quarterbacks from that from that Elite Eleven thing. We all have a group chat and we've texted every once in a while. But me and Miller are fine. We have a great relationship. Um, you know, we collab on things and. Uh, we talk things through um, in meetings, on the field, off the field, uh, wherever wherever we need to. Relationship's great. Is it right. going to be tougher though with only two scholarship quarterbacks? Or? Um, maybe a little tougher on the shoulder. <laughs> but other than that, we're going we're going to get some guys in here to help us out. Uh, Coach Riley's going to do a phenomenal job in recruiting, things like that. And we're going we're going to be just fine. When you step into the leadership role in Oklahoma, the culture was already set there. It's yep. a successful program here. Yep. This is four and eight program mm -hmm. last year, and it's, you're trying to establish the culture. What's the difference as a leader? You know, knowing, like you say, coming from a culture that is that that's a winning culture, um, and and here it is a winning culture. If you I mean, go look at the legacy, the history, um, it's a winning culture. Um, but coming from from a losing um, culture very recently, um, and then and then and then me coming from a winning culture, um, and and a bunch of coaches coming from a winning culture, and and, and having a ter determination to step in, make sure we change the culture because the culture is one of the biggest things, if not the biggest things, um, to help you win games and have a winning culture, so. Let's do one more. You talked about doing your homework so much as you looked at these schools. What's something you only learned about SC after you got here? Something I learned about SC after I got here. Um, got to do a lot of walking. <laughs> even from my, even from the garage to the to the facility, um, gotta do a lot of walking. That is, man, I should get a, I probably should get a scooter, but that's that's the main thing that I've learned is walking. Uh, has has been it's a lot of walking. You gotta you gotta have great time management uh, walking around the campus. So, awesome, Caleb. Yep, of course. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.